This next video is of a gentleman in his 60s with severely bothersome waterworks issues who underwent a whole procedure or laser and nucleation of his prostate to remove the obstructing prostatic tissue and alleviate his waterworks symptoms. What we can see here is utilisation of the laser fibre to initially bisect the prostate into two halves. Presently we are enucleating the left lobe of the prostate. What can be seen here is that clearly the two lobes of the prostate. Resection is continuing along the left hand side. This will be continued approximately up towards the bladder from 6 o'clock through to 12 o'clock. The lobe will be completely resected out of its capsule, dropped into the bladder where it will finally be morselated into small pieces which can be suctioned out and analysed under a microscope to look for any prostate cancer. Here's the incision made at 12 o'clock. You can see the clock face there from 12 all the way back down to 6. Now has some level of incision created. The laser utilised here is a holmium laser. It has a penetration depth of less than a millimetre. Thereby meaning that surrounding important structures uh, in the bladder, the erectile nerves, or the sphincter that controls a man's continence are less likely to be damaged as part of the operation. You can clearly see at times here on one side, in this case the right hand side of the picture or at this point the anterior part, you can see the shell of the prostate and to the left of the laser here, or below the laser, we can see the adenoma, which is the white balls of tissue which are causing the problem. To put in layperson's terms, think of the prostate like a mandarin or an orange, and I'm utilising the laser to scoop out all the fleshy part by getting into the plane between the fleshy part of the fruit, or in this case the adenoma of the prostate, and the peel of the fruit, or in this case the capsule of the prostate. Due to its properties the, and also the way of uh, resection, the bleeding is minimal as only the blood vessels that come through the capsule are transected as opposed to other procedures which may transect numerous more blood vessels and have significantly greater volumes of blood loss and post-operative clotting returns to theatre for patients. The nucleation of the left lobe is almost completed here. We're getting very close to the bladder. And the incision is important to continue in an upwards fashion to avoid getting out of the appropriate plane. The recovery phase for these patients we see the completion of the enucleation and the lobe falling into the bladder is fairly good. They have a far lower chance of re-bleeding and therefore re-presentation to hospital, their local doctor uh, or otherwise. They can restart their 
strong blood thinners if they're on them for heart problems or stroke risk at a much earlier stage, generally at the one to two week mark rather than six to eight weeks with other procedures. And importantly, as we can see here, the prostate tissue is not vaporised, instead it is enucleated and then morselated as we can see here, dissecting the tissue into small pieces which are then sent off to a microscope to examine for any prostate cancer, an important part of the procedure. This is Dr Martin Elms, thanks very much for watching.